Hello everyone, my name is General Lagoshi and we are back again with another addition to our growing library of iconic VR chat worlds that you may or may not have heard of. I mentioned in my previous episode that I did intend to do follow-ups to previous videos and I decided that there was some more beautiful worlds I wanted to include and so here we are with a few more worlds to add to your favourites list. A huge thank you to the influx of positive comments I've received over the past couple of weeks. I do read them all and I did want to reach out because they do make my day whenever I get the chance to read them. Another type of comment I've been receiving lately is some form of these worlds don't exist or you're a dirty liar General Lagoshi. And whilst I would love to have the technical know-how and free time to fake 3D renders of worlds in a VR game, I am afraid I am not the evil mastermind that these comments are making me out to be. The reason why these worlds may not be appearing when you search them is because you're on Quest. The Quest is not nearly as powerful as a PC and as such, the worlds that you see when you search on it are limited. I know this sucks, but it is unfortunately a limitation of having a much weaker device. If you want to access PC worlds via a Quest, you can use a link cable to your desktop. I am a PC VR player and I always have been, so at this time I will not be making any Quest focused videos as I don't have one and nobody in my Discord server does either. So I feel like it would be naive of me and maybe even disingenuous to claim to know the best worlds for Quest players. So I am sorry if this is a disappointment to some of you. However, as a compromise, I have decided on advice from Cherry, I think it was, uh, a little shout out to her or him, to include this graphic in the corner of my videos from now on showing you whether a world is PC exclusive or open to both. Because let's be honest, it was unfair of me to get you hyped up about incredible worlds and then disappoint you five minutes later. Um, furthermore, I do want to apologize for the slightly shorter list this time. I actually had some really awful problems recording this episode in terms of frame rate uh, and actually finding the time to make it. I am super committed to continuing to make these, but things did get in the way this time and I do hope that you'll forgive me. Our first world comes in the form of a white bed suspended above an ocean of heavenly clouds. The white behemoths roll beneath you as if you were a sailor embarking into waters unknown, and the result is by far one of the most aesthetically pleasing worlds I have ever visited. Shooting stars dart across the sky, and the glowing blue embers of stars far out of reach seem mystical in the constellations above. Cloud Dream is a tiny world with very little to do, but admittedly, the creator had a certain creative flair when designing it, and I thought some of you could certainly take some nice selfies here. I think that we can all relate to watching anime at some point in our lives, usually as teenagers, especially during the summer months in between school or college when we had little better to do, much less the money to experience Japan for ourselves. Now imagine all of what I just said condensed into a single aesthetic. Sunset by Ozen will almost certainly be pretty close. The entirety of this world is a thing of beauty, with calm waters flooding the streets, reflecting the familiar post-rain sunset glow from the western edge of the map. Metro trains blow past on the bridge above, and the glittering streets trap your mind to a time when things were simpler. Sunset is a world with an awful lot to love, and I think it makes a perfect spot for having those deep conversations, resting your eyes, or just taking nice pictures in. Nova Rest is a symbol that within each of us there is an imagination ready to run wild. A gorgeous, self-inspired world, Nova Rest is a small city, floating and even towering above the clouds in the twilight hour. The inspiration drawn from Studio Ghibli, Mediterranean architecture and fantasy is very clear, but I still think that as an independent creation, Nova Rest is deserving of immense praise. I think that this world is certainly deserving of your attention if you seek somewhere to take high up pictures with friends, as the spires and glowing windows of these unique buildings dot the horizon, giving you a truly unique experience that you will likely not forget for some time. I really can't even be clever here. As independent creations go, Olympia is stunning, hearkening to the same Mediterranean or rather Hellenistic aesthetic that Nova Rest also borrowed from. Olympia is a huge world with so much to offer, it truly deserves a place in VRChat's Hall of Fame. 
From what I can tell, entirely self-inspired in its design, Olympia finds itself as a magical city positioned on an island surrounded by emerald waters. Mystical religious statues dot themselves around the city for worship, and an unnamed planet and its moon loom over the late afternoon clouds. Trading ships sit moored in the harbour as the gentle tide dances beneath. Restaurant plazas and shops nestle themselves between a plethora of buildings, truly giving a purpose to this world. A distant pantheon beneath a blue light sits idly on a faraway mountain, and truly, it feels like something, or maybe everything, the author of this world did in its conception was planned meticulously. Some worlds are designed to be pretty, and that's fine, but Olympia truly feels like it was the creation of someone who wanted their own world, their own lore, their own story, and even their own vision. But that's all I have time for this week. I am sorry that all of these worlds are PC exclusive, but when it comes to the beauty category, developers tend to push the limits of hardware to achieve these kind of beautiful worlds. And so it does make sense that so many of them would not work on Quest. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you to everyone who subscribes and otherwise brings new viewers to the channel. Who knows, maybe one day we will hit a thousand subscribers, but however big or small this community is, I want you to know that I love making these videos for you. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. This is General Lagoshi, over and out. Thank you.